Hi guys, my name is Tomasz and welcome back to the channel. In this video we will cover the Tango Walks Backward, which is the continuation of the last video, Tango Walks Forward. Enjoy! Please remember that you can still use your International Dance Shoes discount. It's 15% on the whole order and you can still use it for the next two days, so until the 30th of June 2021. We are very grateful for International Dance Shoes for this opportunity and of course if you haven't ordered your shoes yet, please do it by tomorrow because then the discount will expire. Now, let's go to the walk backward. You can imagine that the walks forward and backward should work in perfect harmony. So it will be very close of what we have to do forward and backward. But you will probably also notice that we have quite a few differences because physically walking forward and backward is different for our body. Our knees only bend forward and that creates a big challenge for walking backward. First, let's start with the same as we started in the last video, which is the body weight, standing leg, moving leg coordination. Again, in tango the coordination will look slightly different than in swing dances, because we have to start preparing the moving leg before our body weight leaves the base of support. So if I were to demonstrate it sideways, if I were to go in swing dances, I would allow my spine to fall outside of the base of support and then I would start preparing my back foot. In tango, I'm starting on the middle of my foot, so the moment my weight goes, start going into the heel, I will already start preparing my foot backward, which is already in the air. So remember that I have to first pick it up. If I, it's not picked up from the last step, I have to pick it up and then start moving and preparing it backward straight away. Now, in order to get my weight into the middle, so start moving backward, I still have to imagine that my knee is relaxing forward. And that's one of the few big differences between walking forward and backward. Is that walking backward, we don't re relax the knees backward, we still relax the knees forward. But we do imagine that the same moment the knee is going forward, our hip will be moving backward. And of course, you will see that my knee, in the end of the day, starts moving towards the direction of the movement. But I cannot just do it straight away. So what I cannot do is I cannot straight away straighten my leg and move away from my foot too quickly because then I would lack the control to feel how fast my partner is going and how big step they want to create. So the knee goes forward in the same time, my hips and the whole body line moves backward, my foot is being picked up, placed behind me, exactly behind my hip, and I can stop exactly in that 50-50 middle balance. Now notice that my posture line is still exactly vertical. I don't want to lean forward or lean backward. I want to be exactly vertical. And notice that my back knee is quite relaxed. It's definitely not straight. The femur bone is in 90 degree angle to the floor and my back heel is very strong. The more I relax my back heel, the more I will straighten my back knee. So in order to keep that knee relaxed, I will naturally have to pick up that heel a little and that will give me straight away much more stability and relaxation. From this moment, if I want to move onto my back leg, I have to, yes, push from the front leg. And the moment I push from it, I have to pick up that foot. Now, the second thing I have to do in the same time, I have to keep my right knee, so the back knee, relaxed in order to transfer the weight backward. Now, that back knee will not be moving forward, but we have to keep it relaxed so our hips can move backward. So we should be able just to rock between our feet with my body line still vertical to the floor and notice that my knee will be bending more without really changing place. I'm pushing from the foot forward, I'm keeping my back knee relaxed, my back foot will be squeezing the heel very slowly to the floor in order to control my body weight transfer. If I done it all correctly, I should still finish with my posture vertical and I should be able to lift my other foot up in the air and maintain on the same level. Of course, that should happen regardless whether you go backward with the right or left foot. The mechanics is exactly the same. 
The second major point we have to go to is body rotation and the curving. So again, you have to imagine that going forward and backward has to match each other. So our shoulder line has to be always parallel to each other and we have to be able to go in the same direction. Otherwise, we will just lose connection and have to either hold each other with the arms or we'll just fall apart. So the same as going forward, I will have to be moving and curving in the same time. And that curve has to happen from the hip. So if I'm standing on my left leg and my left leg is my standing leg, in the same time I will be keeping my knee forward and moving my hip backward, I will be curving that hip as well. So I cannot just first go backward and then curve it. I cannot first curve it and then just move backward. I have to blend those two motions together. So I will be moving and curving. Now, if I done it correctly, my right foot should end up in CBMP. Please remember that still my back heel is very strong. Just because I curved doesn't mean that I suddenly have to relax that heel and my knee is suddenly straight. So I have to do exactly the same thing and I will be doing that on a slightly different angle. I'll have to do it exactly the same way, just curve on top. Still, my knee, both knees are relaxed and to be quite honest, in that 50-50 position, you shouldn't really know whether I will continue now forward or backward because it should be exactly identical as the forward motion. If I want to continue with the other leg backward, of course, I will continue turning my body and get on the leg and then continue turning, curving and moving again and finish in that 50-50. Again, my left side will be leading. So it won't be exactly square as my foot. It will be slightly more leading than my right side, which means my body will be turned to the left. One last important point. Please remember that going backward, you have to time the person that is going forward. Regardless whether you're a leader or follower, you have to wait for that person to move first, which means that you have to still keep the foot pressure into your front leg and move the hip backward in a very controlled way. Because if you move too fast or you lose control, you will also lose the connection and that's when the bumping happens. That's it for this video. Please don't forget to check out our online classes that you will have the link in the description below. In our classes, we go much more in depth and we cover the whole range of dances and figures. So if you like how we do the videos and you want to learn more, feel free to check them out. Of course, don't forget to like the videos. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the section below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.